start. Good evening, everybody. We are here to share our story regarding our research on here, wearable device for medical purpose. And uh, I'm Min Young Sa, and I'm the person in our interdisciplinary team responsible for the word wear. So I'm from textiles and clothing. And, and I'm actually the collaborator working on the electronic part and on the clinical side to trying to implement this uh, wearable device into humans. And uh, just a comment compared to what you saw before, this is actually a therapeutic device. So very different from what you heard before, uh, where usually they use sensor eventually to predict or give some information to doctors and patients. Here we're actually treating patients. So it's still wearable, but we're trying to treat them. Yeah, before going to our first slide, uh, showed, he showed it already. <laughs> As I said, uh, I'm a person for wearable uh, aspect of the projects and uh, initiated from the wearable computer proposed by Steve Mann maybe like 1880s, long ago. Uh, the wearable system was understood as the use of the piece of clothing which support the technological device on the body. But now it's time I intended to show this picture. <laughs> uh, so, but do you think they are wearable, really? <laughs> From the clothing perspective, which I am measuring in, um, there are a lot of considerations that we have to take account, uh, such as physical comfort, physiological comfort, how the body interacts with the device, also appearance, aesthetics, as well as the functionality. I'm very glad, oh, I forgot one to mention, the, the maintainability. I'm very glad Diane, uh, Diana and Mike mentions all of this. And in history, many of the devices evolved from accessible through possessible, portable, finally to the wearable. I just brought two examples of the clock and the telephone to show this kind of track. But as you may think, there are a lot of other devices which follows along this uh, track. And for this kind of transitions, there has to be the new materials or the technological I mean, advanced technologies which will enable all these transitions to happen. The, not yet, sorry. <laughs> the important issue, critical issues are to massificate and to mobilize and to miniaturize. And it was not listed here, but finally to customize. And now, <laughs> so, the further, further evolutions after this may involve some invisible devices and implantable devices. Mike had mentioned with very good examples in this kind of areas. I just brought the, I show another evolution as an example of the glasses here. But now we see how the devices can be customized, as I said before. So let me introduce so what we have been working on. Uh, you probably have heard this, it was on the news a few years ago. Uh, it's been shown that uh, they can build a bra where they put sensors, just thermal sensors, and if you wear them, you have uh, actually 87 to 90% chance to get a good diagnosis if you're developing breast cancer two, three years before uh, you can do with uh, x-rays. Now. 87% is not good clinically, okay? If you go, for example, to Duke or uh, UNC, usually between uh, uh, when they sus suspect a lesion, they go then to MR or do other study, for which they approach 99.5. So obviously just the bra is not good by itself, but it could help, for example, for people, you know, they don't really want or they don't know how to do self-examination. So the company is marketing now this, but again, it's a sensing device. And starting from that, we have been working on uh, with clinicians to say, can we do something simpler or can we use some of the technology to actually improve some of the device that 
technicians really want to see, but they cannot use them because they don't have that engineering uh, translation. And uh, already, nice. So this is, yeah, so this one is, the reason why we want to do this actually is based on, uh, it's been shown that heat, if you add heat to radiation chemical, uh, chemi chemo drugs like uh, uh, the typical chemotherapy that makes you lose hair, or uh, if you add it to immunotherapies, like the new ones that are coming out now, heat always improves therapy, always, and significantly. It can be from 30 to 70%. And when I say heat, is fever-like, like when you get a fever, that kind of temperature. So it was, it's very interesting for, all clinicians are asking us, can you induce heat locally in the tumor? And there is technology, pretty much the same technology that you have in a microwave oven, you can do it and integrate in a bra. So you could wear this bra before, during, or after radiation or chemotherapy, or especially now for immunotherapy overnight. And the reason is because, especially for immunotherapy, these are very recent data, and we have actually a little bit better data. As soon as you add heat, the immunotherapy agent, not only they can prolong life, but in a lot of cases actually completely cure cancer and distance metastasis. And it's, it's pretty much what your, your body is doing with fever, right? And that's why also it's very important, and the Nature paper came out recently, it's important that you let your kids sometimes have fever for at least a few hours or maybe a whole night because his immune system is actually triggered by a certain temperature to do certain things, like memory. The memory of the immune system is based on temperature. Um, so let me just show. So, and this is what we, yeah. what we are integrating now. Yes. This, this shows our research plans very well. Um, Currently, the, the thermotherapy device uh, follows the format of traditional medical equipment, looking like bottom part of the pictures. But the difference, unlike to other tradition, I mean, tr traditional type of devices, the, for the thermotherapy, uh, they have to, uh, it lasts more than an hour, unlike the other devices taking just images for a few seconds or at most of a few minutes. So we thought it should be very patient friendly. So rejecting the machine friendly kind of environment, we tried to make those devices wearable, therefore patient, friend, patient friendly. And the team, is, team consists of the three disciplines. So just the last comment, this is what we're working on, the first results. And as you can see, it's much addressed, just a bra. But the bra allows you to go all in the MR, or getting radiation at the same time, and you wear it for one hour. And so, we, in the next few years, we're gonna know clinical trials and finalize this development. Hopefully. <laughs> All right. So this, okay, sorry. Yeah, so.